Hello everybody, welcome back to more Lemmings World Tour Encore! Because we were on the Encore rank and we beat like 11 or 12 levels last video because these levels are considerably easier than the Legend and Rockstar ranks, which I, I was I was told in advance, I was expecting it, and I'm honestly kind of happy with it. I like ripping through a bunch of levels in one video. Also, sorry, I, I don't really recognize any of these levels from the previous packs that I've played. I didn't play all of the packs by any means, I, I only played a little bit of each one. And even then, that was years ago, so I probably have forgotten all about these levels, so sorry. But also, that means it's basically blind, so that's great. <laughs> Level 12, Limbones by Allison Chains. I love it. 40, that means we can kill up to five of them. This seems like an extreme... Oh, there's a second hatch on the right. I'm like, wow, there's only one hatch, and it's just a simple drop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, Artie, it's not. All right. Just pretend for a second that the Kiroshi gimmick was still active, and you had to kill the Lemmings. Don't worry, you won't. <laughs> oh, can we play like that? That we have to kill the lemmings? Well, sweet. Won't they splat right here? I've never understood, because that was one of the gimmicks was like the Kiroshi gimmick, which was a really cool one, where instead of getting the lemmings to safety, you had to kill them all. However, there was also a lot of exceptions like, okay, well, obviously you can't just kill them with the nuke, because that would completely break every level. So yeah, I get that. But there were also weird exceptions, like they can't fall down bottomless pits. Uh, like, they I, they might not have been able to splat either or like drown. There was a lot of exceptions where I'm just like, why can't I kill them like that? It's basically like you had to kill them via traps, more or less. Well, huh. Like, I'm pretty sure, well, A, so f right now in this version of Neo Lamics, if I were to bash through that rock, they would die. But I'm pretty sure if they die by walking off the bounds of the stage or by falling down the pit, it wouldn't count. If it, the actual gimmick was enabled, which is really dumb. Don't know why that was a vain, but okay. But this is not a Kuroshi level, this is a regular old level. Also, I'm gonna kill... I've, I've, been, I've been waxing poetic about how beautiful the levels are. I'm gonna say that that's ugly right there. That's like, that's ugly right there. <laughs> You, you just use tree branches as erasing pieces, and it's very obvious and not complete, and I'm giving you the no, no go on that one, Strato. So will they just survive? Nope. Okay, well, all the lemmings are dead on that side. This seems very easy. Because it is. All we have to do is bash over that, and then bash over that, build over that, and then bash for this, and they all are Wow. That was very easy. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh my gosh, never mind. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's a killer exit, and the real exit is with the lizard. Yeah, okay, so in the Kuroshi gimmick of this map, you have to get them all to the lizard. No other way of killing them would have worked. Even if they splat, that apparently won't work. Talk about stupid. And yes, it is stupid. I'll let another lemming do the bashing out. You're gonna build. You're gonna bash them out, and you're also going to build to stop them from dying. That's such a clever way to enforce the gimmick that was deprecated. Wait a second. Oh, these weren't ugly for no reason. There's a reason for the ugliness. That's also apparently... Huh. Really? Alright, well, Builder Cloner will help them up that. But that's my last Builder, and I am very sure that they're not going to get out of those pits without some Builders. That's why these are so ugly. There's a reason for it. They should have just been straight pits, though. That would have looked a little better. Okay, so we need to save three builders for the top. Or no, we need stoners. Yeah, haha. <laughs> okay, there is a kind of a reason for the ugliness. Alright. I can work with this, I think. That explains the rather cryptic warning of don't worry, you won't forget. <laughs> that was probably the funniest level in the pack. That was that was great. 
that was thoroughly enjoyable start to finish. I loved the fake out there, and I didn't even notice because guess what? I use frame skipping tools that skips past those, and I didn't notice the lemmings were dropping. Oh, that was fun. That was one of my favorite levels of this rank. That was really good. <laughs> Hilarious. Level 13, Dark Fate of Atlantis. Oh, yes! Parts of my underwater tile set, which is very hard to work with, so thank you for using it. 80 lemmings, and we can kill up to 20 of them. This is by Rhapsody. Hmm, all right. Now, will it have the invisible updrafts as well? That's the real question. <laughs> oh, no, it's not invisible updrafts. It's actual water. On my underwater tile set, the lemmings are water lemmings, and they just go on, they can walk underwater, and it's all updrafts. But these, this is actual water, and they're swimmers. Okay, that upside-down chest filled with, that's the funniest thing I've, that's one of the funniest things I've seen in I mean, so creative. I freaking love that. That's so good. And wow, this is, uh, is this really how we're gonna do it? Oh. That's weird. You know, you know, um, a hit, uh, like a visible trigger area on that would be most welcome. Yeah, like a visible trigger area on that would be very nice. If it is visible, I failed to notice it. Alright, now we just blow this place to kingdom come. Seems easy enough. Is that steel? No, it's not. Wow, yeah, this seems extremely easy. I mean, very cool. Very cool architecture, and I like, like this in theory. I literally would just change that one trap so that it's... If it is visible, make it more visible. That's literally the only thing I would... Oh. <laughs> Artie, did you really think they could get to the exit all by themselves? Well, kind of, as a matter of fact. Oh, do I have to... Do I have to bomb up this wall and then stone, 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 stone? Or can I actually create, like, a stone wall here? I can't tell where the trigger area for the exit is. I genuinely can't tell where the trigger area for the exit is. Is the trigger area higher? No, the trigger area is actually somewhere in the water. Okay, that's the other thing I would fix. <laughs> And again, just because I would fix it doesn't mean it's the gospel truth and it must be fixed. My opinion is only my opinion. Come on. Hit the trigger. Where is the trigger area for this dumb exit? Okay, are you serious? I'm really... I'm getting... This is not funny anymore. Like, come on. Where is the flippin' trigger area for the exit? They're swimming on the... It's not even visible. Aren't exits supposed to have visible trigger areas? Alright. Well, so here's going to be my first thing. Maybe, maybe it's above the water and it's just invisible to true physics mode. So, that's what we're going to start with. If I start with, I mean, do after we failed the other way. Oh, also, how far up does the water go? Oh, wait. The water only extends a certain ways upwards, so we actually really should get as high as we possibly can. I did not say reset. That is a lie, and I hate that. Okay. So here's what we're going to try this time. Stone, 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 stone soup. Stone soup. 
I have no idea where the trigger area is. I don't know why I can't see the trigger area on... If the trigger area is deep underwater and, like, one pixel big, then I hate the level. Come on, don't do this. Where is the freaking deacon trigger area? Or is that one of those fake exits that looks just like the real thing? <laughs> Alright, new strategy, folks. We're gonna go even farther under. Because if we go too far under, maybe we can get them to swim just directly. The butts? Who's that? They just... What? Why are the... <sighs> if it's... I don't understand any of what's going on right now. Guess we gotta go even lower. So if we do this... This level is like the biggest middle finger. It's such a troll. And not a good kind of troll. Actually, is there a good kind of troll? I don't even think there is. Are you kidding me? That's... That's... Uh, th what?! Okay, come on. They can't- they should not swim up through- WHAT THE FREAKING THING IT'S STINKING- The t I hate this level, this is so bad. <laughs> okay. I just- I can't see where the trigger area is for the freaking exit. This is really, really, really bad design. <laughs> I just- I, can, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go! Because the exit is... 100% invisible. Yeah, this is terrible. This is an absolutely terrible level. You can't see where the freaking exit trigger is. I can't- I literally can't tell if the exit is in the air, or underwater, or on the surface of the water. Like, how far down do I have to freaking go? And because it's underwater, I can't even see if there are any hidden exits or anything. Those of you who are wondering, I'm hovering over all this water to see if there is a hidden exit somewhere. Nope. Nope. Exit's here. But again, can't see... True Physics Mode is supposed to show you where the exit trigger area is, I think. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to show you where the trigger area is. I also... Wait. This is a bit of a risky move. But instead of stoning here, what if we blow up? Oh, that's way easier. Yeah, save the stoners. Alright, well... Never have, never before have, have I been more tempted to skip a Lemmings level. Like, actu I am actually very much debating just skipping this level because it's dumb. And by dumb, I mean you literally can't see where the exit is. 
I see where the exit is. I can't see how to enter it, though. And I have no idea. Like, this exit literally could have a one-pixel trigger area, and if so, like, in a very precise area that you can't see. How far down can we go? I don't even know what exit this is. This is an exit I am very much unfamiliar with. Wow, we f we created a stack of, of stoners so high that they can't even reach it. This is so bad. This is so bad. Yeah, it literally... It could just be, oh, to reach, you're doing everything right, it's just you have to stone a couple pixels to the left of where you normally are because the trigger area is that tiny. If I could see the trigger area, this would be a lot better, but for some reason I can't. Either because this version of Neo MX doesn't let you see exit trigger areas in true physics mode, or because it's under freaking water. Well, that's a bust. This is bad level design. Start to finish. Well, not start. The start of the level is actually really good level design. I love the chest that opens up. It's it's brilliant and hilarious and awesome. I love it. I don't like the invisible trap, and I absolutely despise this exit. All right. I am lit. You know what? I, you know what I'm going to do. I am actually going to open up Neo Lemix editor. Just so I can see where the freaking trigger area on that exit is. Because I'm not doing this anymore. After scouring the tile sets, I can't find this freaking exit. That's having, I'm thinking that the exit is actually really tall and the trigger area is super far down. So that's the case. Okay, the exit st extends all the way down here. So maybe the exit's in the middle somewhere around there? I don't know. I literally have no way of knowing because this level sucks. And you know what, folks? This is the way Artie is. Artie tries his very hardest to be positive and upbeat about every about almost every level he encounters. But here's the thing. When I encounter a level I don't like, I will be very, very, very vocal about it. Try to I try to be nice about like every level I come across. I like most levels I I like. Most levels I like. Okay. Here we go. Let's blow up a hole here. Are you kidding me? Part of me wa is... You know what? I am literally... I am tempted to download the newest version of this on new Neolemix, open this level in the editor, and see where that bloody trigger area is. This shouldn't be a hard level, but it is, and for all the wrong reasons. Finally found it in the editor. It's apparently the Angel Island exit, and the trigger area is very tiny and very far down right around here. I am literally, like, inches from the solution. But of course I can't solve it, because, like... Yeah, they, they literally should be swimming at the trigger area. I don't know why they're not hitting the trigger area. Why are they not hitting the flippin' trigger area? They are literally touching it right the freak now. Either that or swimmer physics are weird. Yeah, because, like, when I stone there, yeah. The, see? It, the stoner, like, warped to the left when I... Because here... I stoned him, like, when he was... Uh, the, st the stoner, like, warped to the right. And here's the thing. The tr the exit might be so far down that you can't even stonewall to it. I'm literally just 
I have to blindly stone until they stumble across this trigger area. It's so dumb. It is so bad. Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was fun? Rhetorical question. I know who made the level. trapped in here. If we bomb at the right place, maybe they'll stumble into the trigger area. No, they didn't. For no reason. How about this way? No? How about here? Still no! How about there? No! How about here? Still no! You suck! How about here? Will you let me do it if I blow them up here? No? Wow! What a fun level this is! This level definitely doesn't suck in any way. This is pinnacle game design. Yeah, I can't- I can't see how close they are to hitting the trigger area! And the trigger area is freaking tiny, too. It's so bad. I'm not gonna rage quit this level, though. I will beat it, and I will complain about it for the rest of the LP. But I will beat it. Again, I can't tell if they're too high up at this point, or if they're too low down. I think they're too high up. So we're gonna just... That was without question the worst level in the whole pack. Like, not even close. Like, I thought... Yeah, Legend 7, ridiculously hard, unfairly precise. Wasn't that bad. That that was like... That right there is the pinnacle of fake difficulty in Lemmings. Difficult for all the wrong reasons. I saw immediately how to do it. But then there's just this random bullcrap at the end that you have to deal with. Like, are you kidding me? A genu genuine question. Did you actually think that was a good level or a fun level? I genuinely want to know, because I'm here to tell you it is neither. <laughs> and the, the sad thing is, just change it so that at the end, they swim into the exit at the surface. That's the only thing you have to change, and the level would actually be pretty fun and cool. Why did you sink it into the water, and why did you choose an exit with such a tiny trigger area that you freaking can't see? That was so bad. That That's one of the worst Lemmings levels I think I've ever played. That right there... So, the hardcore fans of my Lemmings pack sublems, they know that there was a planned difficulty rank that I had in that called Impossible, which was going to have five levels that were just as hard as I could have made. And I didn't go through with it because I'm like, wait, these levels are hard for all the wrong reasons. They were hard for reasons like that. For reasons like... Like that, where it's just like, oh, you just gotta, like, blindly run into the exit, basically. 
And I cut them because I realized, no, these are terrible and no one would like them. That level should have been cut. But, Strato, I beg you, just change the level. Just move the exit up. Okay, you can do one of two things. You can either make it so you can actually see the exit's trigger area when you use true physics mode. Or, just, and this is what I personally recommend you do, move the exit upwards... So that way, once you get to that little square at the end, they swim on the surface of the water and swim right in the exit. That is all you have to do. Make that one change, and that level is good. If you keep it this way, it is one of the worst Lemmings levels I've ever encountered. So, uh, not sorry. That level sucked. We're going we're gonna to move past that, because now, it, now it's going to be hard to tell how much time I have left, because I'm going to cut a lot of that out. But, all right, level 14, Torture Pit. No, that was the last level. <laughs> 40 lemons, we can kill up to 5 of them. Well, this I pretty much guarantee this level is going to be more fun than the last one. Ooh, a lot of traps. These traps don't exactly mesh well with the fire tile set. Wow, that is a lot of traps. Okay, well, we just got to... Okay. Uh, I, can, I can work with this, I think. I think I can work with this. You're going to disarm. Now, I'm going to send, two, not climbers, sorry. I'm going to send two disarmers forward just to make it a little faster. And now what I'm wondering is, if you if you fence, can you platform while you're fencing? Or will we just have to fence for every stalagmite we get? No. Okay. Still should be simple enough. So then they climb up here. Nicely done. There. Okay. Now you can platform back. Ah, it's good to have good lemmings levels back. That was actually fun. I, I actually really like that one. I like the fencing for the stalagmites to... Uh, fencing for the stalagmites to delay the crowd a bit so the disarmers can go and get going. That was fun. I like that one. Very nicely done. I, some of the traps definitely clashed with the fire tile set, but that that's minor complaints. It's just if you want a pretty level. Level 15, Skies and Sand by Paul Kochliner. I don't know. 80 lemons, gotta save them all. Ooh, wow. Beach level with sky tile set. I actually kind of like that. That... Excuse me. Oh, bother. That exit is in the air, and that's gonna be hard to reach it, isn't it? Plentiful skill set, but that's kind of deceiving. All right. So the gliders are at the bottom, and the swimmers are at the top. Okay. Oh, there's an exit in the... Oh, that's clever. Once again, can't see the trigger area for that, so I don't like that, but I'm hoping they'll just swim right on in. Okay, so we got an exit for the gliders, who are on the ground that need to go up, and an exit for the swimmers who need to get down without dying. Okay, well, hmm. There we go. Actually, we might... Should we stack these guys on in? Could be a smart idea to do. Because these guys are stacked on in. At the very least, we're going to platform here to just break their fall. I'm, I'm going I'm to do it. I'm going to stack them on in. Now, unfortunately, one of them is going to go past. two stackers, but they're on in there nice and tight. Sweet! Alright, now we should be able to max out the release rate. I just have to work in such a way that... Actually, what we can... Actually, I think this might work out just peachy fine dandy. See, 
See, I like this one. It's a fairly open-ended level, any way you want. Two groups to get through. All right, well, he... he will. Now, unfortunately, he's going to glide in the clouds. We don't really like... We don't really appreciate that around these parts. Let's build all the way up here. Now, they sh Will they be able to glide to the end? Oh, that's... that's nice. Thank you. I know you were watching out for me, Strato. Interesting maneuver. Guess we'll have to do that. And can they glide into the exit? They cannot. That sucks. That sucks. Guess we'll have to walk at the right time. Guess we'll have to walk at the right time. Like that. Okay. Gliders can go free. Miners are not going to be all that useful. All right. Gliders all go ahead. Happy as a clam. Did I just hear... Chow? Oh, they can. Yeah, they can survive that. All right. Now I got to make a plan. Actually, wait. This plan should be colossally easy. Okay. So they all go ahead. That's great. You're gonna mine for that. And now what you're gonna do... You're gonna dig for that. They all go down here. They're all swimmers. They shouldn't get bothered by a little beach ball. And now what we can do is we can just... Dig and bash through as much stuff as we need to. Let's see how far we can go with that basher. We went pretty far! Now, how far can we go with this basher? Far. Excellent. Now, they can all swim in? Yay! Good! That's what it should have been like on the two levels ago! On the Lost Dark Secrets of Atlantis! Alright! See, that level was actually a ton of fun. I really like that one. Really clever. I like how the gliders were at the bottom and had to get up, and then the swimmers were at the top and had to get, go down. Not very many obstacles in the way, but a lot of skills, very open-ended. I like that. And it wasn't trivial. You actually did have to use your brain a bit in the right way, which I appreciate. Level 16, Release Me by Agnes Carlson. Two lemmings, we can... We have to... We can kill one of them? That's a lot of buttons. Also, this is the metal tile set, which is not very often used. This is steel. This is not. We have two corners as well. Oh, there's... Wait... Oh my gosh, he's a blocker. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. So literally, this guy hits all the buttons, and then that... I love that! <laughs> Sometimes I'm easily impressed, and I, I love that. Oh, this is such a cool level. Okay. Do that. We can glide back down here. Oh, I love this. This is so good. I really love this. Alright. This is also a level that could have been a whole lot harder, I'm guessing. Oh, he doesn't actually... Okay. At what point do I not get fried? I think right there. That's what I wanted to see. Alright. We'll clone you. You go that way. You build and you walk. And then you walk again. And now what I'm hoping we can do, we can hit this button. Dig. And then clone. And then... <laughs> I love... I love the blocker sitting right on the locked exit and immediately jumping in once it opens up. That's so good! And I haven't seen it before. And that... 
That's hilarious. That's that's great. I love that. All right, we're gonna keep going for a little bit. Again, I have no idea if I'm gonna go overtime or not because I don't know how mu exactly how many minutes I'm cutting out. But we're gonna keep going. Level 17, Lem to the Slaughter. This see, this looks like a familiar level actually. This is by 10. 80 Lemmings gotta save them all. Well, apparently the Lems are not going to the Slaughter unless we have a whole bunch of cloners, which we don't. So they're going to the Slaughter and we have to save them. So that's a swimmer plus a glider. That's interesting. And that's a floater plus a disarmer. Weird. That's a lot of hatches. Or er, hatches. That's a lot of exits. So they're going that way. Okay. I'm... Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming it's not just going to be this easy. But if we mine here, they can all turn around and go to the exit. And if we dig here... Hmm... I, again, this is definitely going to be a back route if it even works. And that's why I must try it. That is why I must try it. Okay. You're the last lemming. You're gonna dig. You're gonna build. Hit your head. Just like so. Beautiful. Now. Can we reach here with the builders? I think that's gonna be a yes. We also have to make sure we can get them out, but we can, I think, with just a single builder plus a... Or basher plus a builder. All right. Now. Beautiful. That's just enough. All right. So now... Whoa. I did not mean to push spacebar there. Bash there. Okay, and that's not quite enough. But we can just do that again. Well, I think that's a back route, <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> I ignored half the level, but I'll take it. Hackish to the end, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. We're going to keep going. If we have a longer video than usual, so be it. Strato can take longer to meditate on the bad level. You want it, you got it. Level 18 by Brian Adams. That's a crazy looking level. This is using some of those Freedom Planet tile sets, which look very beautiful, but are very hard to work with. 80 lemons. Ooh, cloners! My favorites! Lovely. We gotta save five extra lemons. Ooh, five of everything. I love it. Is that an exit? That's a button. There are buttons to push. One, two, three, four. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, well, first fiends. <laughs> first fiends, first bird. Let's connect the hatches. I think that's a good idea. This is going to be a tricky one. I can already tell this is going to be a tricky one. But the good kind of tricky. The kind of tricky I like. So here, we can do that. Now we can dig. I think diggers are going to be the least valuable of the destructive skills, so I have no problem with using those. I don't like the button that's there. Or the trap that's there, rather. Or alternatively, what I could do... I could do the send one lemming ahead thing. 
Like, I could have the last line of this hatch build over here and then start going and keep them penned in. Actually, yes, I think I will do exactly that. I will do exactly that. Let's see, I think miners and d and bashers are gonna be roughly equal equally valuable. There we go, second button pressed. There's no button up there, but we gotta build over this. Alright, the other buttons are way up there, way down there, and way up there. Alright. First we're gonna fence to the exit. Because once we push the buttons and we free the rest of the crowd, they will just walk right to the exit, and they won't have to go around this huge whoop-de-woo. Haha, -woo. <laughs> waterfall, gotta watch out for that. That's fine. I can deal with that. Now, if we go down there, that's a trap. We do not want we do not want to go up there just yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig and then we're gonna bash. Get underneath the waterfall. And then after that, we are going to fence to hit that button. Okay, this isn't going to be as tricky as I expected. I was expecting this to be much more strict with... Uh, hey, 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 bro, I, di I did not want you to stop there. I actually wanted you to bash through the whole thing. Just like so. Alright. And now, we should be able to just... Boom, do that, and then fence our way back up. Just like so. Now, if we do that... <laughs> yes, it's right in the middle! Alright, now... We're gonna... Clone, 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 clone! Cool, they're all cloned, and now we just fence them out, and if all goes well, that should be enough to get them all to the exit, and we have plenty of skills to spare. But hey, that was really fun! Really liked that one! Really like that one. That was great. Great use of the architecture. Nice job using the Freedom Planet tile sets in such a way that it was beautiful and unique. That was fun. That was really fun. I really like that one. Okay, so we had like two f fine levels, a couple of really good levels, and then one absolutely massively, oh my gosh, never seen such a stinker Rooney level before levels. So on average, I'd say pretty good. Actually, on average, I'd say meh, because that stinker Rooney level was really stinkeroony. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We're continuing the encore. May we please not have another bad level? Like, I really hope so. I don't, I don't ask for a whole lot when I play Lemmings levels, but avoiding the fake difficulty, I think, is one of the things I can ask for, and it's not unreasonable. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.